As the holy grail of AI video creation finally arrived, is there finally a tool that can create short form videos that actually look good? Is AI video worth your time? It's time to take a look at a new tool called Video Talk. This video has one very simple goal. I'm going to decide if it's worth buying a license with my real hard earned cash. Right now, there are 394 lifetime deal slots open. They are either 200 or 600 euros. When you buy a lifetime deal on a product that's in beta, you're gambling. They can have all the roadmaps they want. There's no guarantee they will continue improving the product. Follow along as I decide if this slot machine is worth putting my money into. Let's do this. This is Video Talk. A few days ago, they were on Product Hunt, which is how they got my attention. They only made number five product of the day, so they didn't win the whole charts. They weren't the most popular product, but that doesn't always mean what you think it does. A lot of the stuff on Product Hunt, they're paying for advertising. They're having all their employees click the button to upvote it. So companies with large staffs always end up as number one. It doesn't mean it's the best, but it also doesn't mean that it's not the best. So I'm going to dive in and see exactly what they do. What I want to look at more than anything else before I make my buying decision is the promise. That's where I want to start. Here's what they promise is that you can start from text. You just type something. A video talk will create everything from the images to the text to the videos, all of it from a very simple prompt. They built it in less than four weeks, which doesn't inspire me. That's not the part I want to hear. But the real question is, what's the final product look like? They have some really cool pro features with the automatic captions, incoming outgoing effects, engaging hooks, captivating images, AI generated voice and music, and so much more. And they start adding more features where you can customize the output, create horizontal videos, upload your own video and have them make it look awesome, all sorts of other things. That's what I'm really interested in. There's a lot of use cases for a tool like this where you're just gonna create low quality, really generic content. That's not useful to me. I'm thinking about what I can do strategically with this tool, such as uploading audio of my voice a lot of these videos will have a clip that I want to use, but since I'm just in the little corner of the video right here, most of the screen's not useful. It's not easy to turn these into a short form video unless I go back to the raw video and do a whole bunch of re-rendering and a bunch more work. This could be a really cool shortcut if I can create an AI generated image of myself along with the voice. It allows me to cut short clips from videos like these across my channels. I see a use case for my particular business. That's why this has my attention the ability to take my own audio recordings or my scripts and create something really cool and repurpose them that way. I'm not so much looking to go for text to video to create a story that's not true with a bunch of flashy images that's built around a process that may or may not get banned from YouTube and TikTok anyways. They don't have as much information here as I would like. It's just introduction with Product Hunt. There's a lot more going on. The roadmap is very interesting. This is where I can get a sense of what they're going to be doing and what they're not going to do. So they've already added features which you can change the font yourself. You can edit the captions. You can change the actual script of the video. The AI will write a script. You can then go in and change that script before it makes the video. That's very important to me. You can choose image styles. You can change the language. It already works in multiple languages because this was made in Europe. In progress is custom branding. I can add in custom colors and styles. You know that I use purple branding in a lot of my stuff. That's why my background is purple. I can upload my own images and videos. I want to think about this for a second. I can create a bunch of really cool pictures of myself inside of Artflow, create a whole database and use those to make AI generated videos. I'm thinking about how I can combine two tools that I love and make something really amazing. Also, they have their planned features. So we have what they've already done, what they're working on, what's coming in the future is some things that are interesting. A way to create the thumbnail is not interesting to me. I already have a process for that. That's in some of my other videos. Voice clones. This means I can upload my own voice. Now I don't have to record my own scripts. It would just sound like me. It's cool. I already do this using Descript, but this would save me a lot of time. This means I can create a script, use my voice without having to re-record, without having to worry about is the microphone good, is there background noise, are my kids screaming, all of that stuff. Very interesting. I'm not sure how much I'll use that because I record my voice all the time like I'm doing right now but it's good to know that that's one of the things in the works, which is closer towards authenticity. AI generated images library. We'll see prompt templates, choose caption size. So you can edit what the video looks like. This is not something I'm as interested in. I want something that's much more automated. I'd rather just look amazing than I go and have to do granular, low level micro adjustments and changes. I'm not interested in that. Motion animations. Okay, it's cool. Upload my own voice. 
Very similar to what they call voice cloning. Either way, I want to use my own voice. And bulk video creation, I don't care about as much. I'm not someone who wants to create 200 videos at once. Really not my use case. I'm more interested in posting one to two videos a day from a tool like this so that it's a more natural use and I can focus on quality rather than just quantity. Interesting that they're going to create other video dimensions. That is interesting to me. Allows me to post on other platforms besides just reels and shorts and TikToks. And the ability to add sound effects is cool. All of the things in the roadmap are interesting to me. Now let's look at the promise of their homepage. The homepage is not good. They have a couple of examples here, and that's it. There's not a lot to work with. I've watched this video. It's not very interesting to me. They go back and forth between two of their vertical videos. That's all this demo does. It doesn't really help me. They've added a couple of these in the last few days. The last time I looked at this was two days ago. There's already been some improvements. And let's take a look. Let's just see what some of their videos look like. Now, one thing I'm pretty sure these videos are all doing is lying. But right at the gate, that's something you want to watch out for. The demonstration video I saw the other day, the story was definitely not true. I don't think their AI is focused on truth, which is why that's something I'm not as interested in. I'm not sure this Clement person existed. I don't want to go in that direction. But the question is, the rest of the video, is it interesting? Is it compelling? But he had a yeah. Here's what's happening. This is something I can actually replicate right now. There's two things happening. They generate the image in a style that looks very much like Leonardo AI. I doubt that's what they're using. I'm sure they're using Stable Diffusion, but it has a Leonardo look. The second thing that's happening is the rotation, which Leonardo does do, but also Leapix does. I've covered this in my video about motion. The picture is spinning in a circle. Sometimes it's a round circle and sometimes it's a circle like this towards me and away from me. That's the effect that's happening. These images are very inconsistent. The armor you saw wasn't invented for at least a thousand years after Rome. So this is not contemporary. These pictures are pretty random. They're not historically accurate, but golly, they catch your eye. That's what's very interesting to me. I see a lot of potential here, especially if I can start to control what images are generated, have a little bit of involvement as the tool improves and control the script. Those are the things that I'm looking at. Let's look at the next video. I don't know what they're saying, but it's compelling. That's what is interesting. This tool is actually catching my attention. I use a lot and test a lot of tools that convert long videos into short videos. This is the most compelling version of that because it's adding in the video effects. That's what's very interesting to me. I think that most of these stories are not true. Even the Medusa story, the way they told it wasn't quite right. But it's very compelling. It's very interesting and it's very quick. So it has a lot of my attention from their demos. They generate the script. They generate the voice. They use the AI images, videos, and GIFs. I want to be more involved where I create my own script or I edit the script or I generate my own voice. That's the parts I don't really want the AI replacing me because that allows me to inject authenticity. So I'm seeing this in a very strategic light. Finally, let's talk about pricing. There's three subscription prices right now. You one euro a month, you get two videos that are watermarked. That's what I'm going to be buying today to do this test. The next level, you can pay 20 euros a month and you're going to get 30 minutes of AI generation. All the models, voices, everything you could possibly want, no watermarks. The only difference when you triple the price is that you quadruple the number of minutes. Instead of 90 minutes, you get a bonus 30 minutes for tripling the price. It's not really a huge value jump, so it makes this seem very reasonable to me. Especially if all of my videos are 30 seconds long. If I'm doing one minute videos, that means I get a video a day. Seems fair to me. That's more than what I want. I'm not sure about jumping to the pro video, but the real question is the lifetime deals. Right now, there are 394 left. When I looked two days ago, there were around 600 left. So they are going down, which means I need to make a decision today. And I'm going to do it on this video. Here's the two tiers. We have the exactly the same thing. The 19 euro a month becomes 200 euros for a lifetime. You get 30 minutes a month or... For 600 euros, which are on 650 US dollars right now, you get 120 minutes a month. I can't imagine a scenario where I ever use this much. This is mostly about supplementing my existing content. 
So I'm going to sign up right now at $1 euro level. I've already registered, so I'm going to sign in. Now I'm going to select my plan before I jump. It's interesting this is 500 deals because the other page doesn't say the same number. Showed a lower number, yeah. So it's down to 394. I don't know that that's true. Maybe it's not really counting down. Maybe it is. You never know with these things. What I care about is, is the tool any good? So I'm going to do the one euro a month plan to test this. Let's do checkout. I paid my one euro through Stripe. I can now proceed to app. I get to make two videos. And at the end of those two videos, we're going to decide if I want to spend 200 euros and get a lifetime license. We're going to do two of these. We're going to do one create script and one your script. It says it can create a script from a blog post. If I had more credits, I would do more tests. But I want to start with something really simple. You need to learn artificial intelligence or you get left behind in the job market. More and more companies will expect all of their employees to be able to use artificial intelligence tools in the next few years. It's better to learn now before it's mandatory. We have a couple of choices. We can choose our source of images, either Google images or AI images. Our choice of style. I always hate these tools. This is the same thing that Artflow does. I can't tell the difference. These clips are so small. I'm going to have to put my eyes really close to the screen. I'm not sure if these images look that different. They're all wearing an astronaut. Fashion style doesn't look that different to Fortnite. I'm going to stick with Video Talk style, which is their foundational style. I wish they had more examples to help me choose this. This is my biggest complaint about this tool. Possibly if I join their Discord, I can see a lot more examples. This different style thing makes me think, oh gosh, I would love to create images with different styles. Language is available. There's a lot. From Ukrainian to Indonesian to Dutch to Polish, Swedish. I can only test English to be sure. You choose warm voice, deep voice, young voice. And other languages only have female voices. The biggest choice is really English. We have three choices. I can't hear the voice to make a decision. I can just see a description. That's not really great for me. This is a beta tool. But considering how tight the credits are and the limitations, I would want to hear the voice see more images in the style before I make this decision. This is pretty risky, but let's generate the video. In less than 30 seconds, it gave me a script. I hate this first sentence. I'm going to clip off the hook. This is a better hook. AI is taking over and you need to be ready. Companies will soon expect all employees to use AI tools, so get ahead of the game. I'm back. Learning AI now will make you invaluable in the job market. Don't get left behind. Start exploring AI assistance, language models, and automation tools today. Upskill yourself and future-proof your career by mastering the tech that's transforming every industry. The time to praise AI is now before it becomes mandatory. Personal score for this is a B plus. Pretty good. It's better than I was expecting and not as bad as I feared. Is it the best possible script it could make? No. What I like is that I can throw in my own script if I want, which I'm going to do for the second video example. Already, I'm very pleased with this. This is an improvement over the last demo video I saw. So they've already improved the product. Let's accept the script. So that took a little under four minutes. Not so bad. Let's click open video and see what we get. AI is taking over and you need to be ready. Companies will soon expect all employees to use AI tools. So get ahead of the game. Learning AI now will make you invaluable in the job market. Don't get left behind. Start exploring AI assistance, language models, and automation tools today. Upskill yourself and future-proof your career by mastering the tech that's transforming every industry. The time to embrace AI is now before it becomes mandatory. It's 25 seconds long. Not loving the voice. Not the best voice I've ever heard. The ability to replace with my voice, which is coming down the line, is good. If it's a word. I can go in and change the captions one word at a time, something I would never want to do. The font style I can change so I can see what it looks like with different styles. This is the Ella style. Go back to the beginning. It's taking over and you need to be ready. Obviously, Harmozy is the most popular style because he's very popular right now. Let's look at footage. Okay, this is very, very cool. So you can upload a picture up to 25 megabytes. I can get granular and use my own images if I want to get really detailed with one of these videos. I like this. This gives you the power to do as much as you want. There are a lot of clips in here. It changes clips every less than a second. I don't think the sound is good enough. I don't think the voiceover, that's easy for me to fix. I can easily record the script myself, throw it on top of the video and merge it after I download it. You can see I have choices to have music in the background and it's very easy to 
strip out the voice. Let's try it with some cool music. Yeah, this is very good. Overall, pretty interesting. They'll even give me the description and hashtag for when I'm ready to post it. This is the best version of this I've seen, so I'm very impressed. Let's hit generate. Yeah. It has a lot of cool stuff in here. I'm not sure about under scores in the middle of hashtags. It's not perfect, but overall, I would say this is solid. Let's go back to create. Until you hit export, it doesn't use one of your credits. That's amazing to me. I'm going to now grab a script from one of my own videos. I'm going to grab a script right now. This is a video I've already made about my definition of success. I already have a version of the video here. Success. So that's my version of it. Let's see what they do if I put in my script. I'm always going to use AI images. Let's choose another style instead of video talk. Let's choose Cyber City and just see what happens. I'm going to try English male deep voice because I didn't like warm voice that much. We're going to generate the video. My second creation is ready in the cyberpunk style. Let's take a look. You have to figure out what success means for you. For some people, success is just a dollar sign, and a lot of people admire billionaires. Well, that billionaire made all that money. Then they had to give away half of it because they lost their marriage. And their kids hate their dad so much they change their names. I don't want that. I would rather not have that level of success because that's not a price I'm willing to pay. I don't want my kids to grow up hating me or making TikToks about how I was a bad dad. All of those things that people do now. I see those. I'm like, oh gosh, I do not want that. I got to be a double good dad. Because now kids can get public revenge on you. I like this a lot. I'm really digging on this tool. It's very interesting. And they're making changes very quickly. The demo I saw from two days ago is almost irrelevant because they've added so many features since then. They're making a noise each time the text changes. I don't see the option to change the caption noise. It's really granular with the images. Hopefully over time you can dial up how many or how few images it uses and say, I don't want an image per second. I want an image every three seconds and it's 10 images. It's a lot more manageable. If you look at the time codes on these images, 0 to 0 0.62, 0 0.62 to 1.27. So this is less than a second. This is just over a second, less than two seconds, second and a half, second and a half, half a second, three seconds. This is the longest clip so far, one second. Very snappy and in a style of editing that I would never do. This is retention editing. There's a lot that says this style of editing is going to go away. I think that there's something in between the way I edit now and this. As far as length, let's look at our two videos. The first video is 25 seconds. Second video, which was my script, was 45 seconds. We've used just over a minute. This means we have a lifetime deal again. 30 minutes of AI generation, that's two per day if I have 30 second video or one per day at a minute video, plenty. Because I'm not really looking to spam the internet with low quality content. I'm seeing this as a useful tool. I'm going to definitely grab this lifetime deal. I think it's worth it to me. And I'm very impressed. I didn't know how this was going to turn out. This is one of those times where I had high hopes for a video and they actually came true. Well, there you have it. After taking video talk through spaces, I've decided it's worth it for me. I was originally deciding, do I want the 200 euro or the 600 euro version? I'm just not going to make 120 videos a month. The only reason for me to look at that level is if I'm managing multiple accounts or if I'm be working for clients. What I was thinking about is creating a bunch of short form videos that lead towards my print on demand content, my color books, my print on demand t-shirt, that part of my business, that secondary small business that I have going. But I think I'll have enough left over with the 30 minutes per month account. I had to make a quick decision because there's a limit on these lifetime deals. Seeing that they're still improving the product since they first came out with it, seeing the future of the product that's going to allow me to do the things I want to do, such as train it with my own voice, such as upload my own images, all of those things are very good things to me. A lot of what I'm seeing is fun and interesting. It's a way to edit. But what matters is your opinion. Do you think these videos were any good? Is it up to snuff? Is it worth it? one euro a month to get two of these videos a month, even if they have that watermark that no one cares about. Is a lemon worth the squeeze? Is this something you're thinking of investing in? Do you think it's worth your money? Let me know in the comments below because that really makes a difference. 
this video was really about me making a buying decision, but you coming along with me, well, now you have the chance to make your own decision. Hopefully, they still have those lifetime deals available. If not, the monthly value of 20 euros a month, it's not crazy because you get a chance to see if you're getting the ROI before you spend 10 months worth of money. Both values, I think, are pretty legitimate. Overall, I'm really pleased with this result. I went into this video very nervous. Whenever I come into a review with high hopes, they tend to get dashed. I've ended a lot of my reviews crying lately or really upset. This is the first time that a product was a little better than I was expecting. It's not ready for prime time yet, but it's on the way up and it's certainly usable and it can certainly create videos that I can add to this channel to start adding more short form videos to go along with these longer videos. I see some really cool stuff here. I'm very pleased with this and I think this is going to become a part of my workflow going forward. I definitely see the value of the pro level membership. If you're going to be creating a lot of short form content, if that's a big part of your strategy going forward, it might be worth it. But let me know what you think. Do you like this tool? Do you hate this tool? Do you like the style of video? Do you like going along with me when I'm making a buying decision? If you found this video useful, educational, or interesting, please hit the like button. That will help this channel to grow. More people will see these videos and it will share more videos like this one appear in your feed. If you hit the subscribe button, more of my content will appear on your dashboard. And of course, if you hit the bell button, you'll get notified every single time I post a video. I appreciate you sticking with me all the way in. I had no idea how this was going to turn out. I'm so pleased that it turned out well. I'm really excited to start using this tool and putting out more really cool content across my channels. And I hope you're as excited as I am and see this as something fun for us to use and build content together. As always, thank you for staying to the end. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. Hit the like button and then I've got a couple of sweet videos that I think you're going to like. I've got one here and another one over here. You're going to love them.